Okay, I'm going to attempt to explain to you how to do regex in JavaScript. A very simple example, but I'm going to do a test for matching in email. Okay, uh, this little tool I have will evaluate regex on the fly for me so I can test it. You can get it here on the Firefox add-ons website. It's in the extensions developer extension, and this is what you get. Down here you type in the text that you're going to try and match and up here you type in the text the actual regex itself so the way we need to think about this is there's there's uh, five parts there's the text before the at sign the at sign the text after the at sign the dot and then the com which is the text afterwards okay so the first part text before the at sign you put that in square brackets because this is what we're matching we, we can match lowercase a to z uppercase a to z a to capital Z, uh, 0 to 9, and underscore, dot, and dash. We can, uh, and this needs to be a backslash dot, because dot actually means something in regex, so you need to escape that dot. Okay? Then, uh, we use a plus sign, meaning match one or more occurrences of this. Okay? Then, stop when you get to an at sign. So match one or more occurrences of this till you get to an at sign. Then we want to match uh, everything after the at sign, which is A to Z, capital A to capital Z, and then 0 to 9, and then we can have dashes as well here. Okay? And then we got to close our square bracket. Now, same thing we did here, we did, we did a plus sign, so we're going to do that again, so plus. So the plus sign means one or more occurrences of matching this. Now get to a dot. Now the problem with the dot here is you can't just straight put a dot. If I, Again, like I said earlier, if I put a dot, that actually means match zero or more occurrences of everything. We don't want that. We need to match the actual dot. To do that, we backslash dot. Okay? Then we want to stop when we get to A to Z, capital A to capital Z, zero to nine. This is the com part. And that matches that. Now, we need to mat we don't want to do plus we don't want to do zero more because uh, that is an incorrect email we need that to, to not be a correct email uh, so the only po so the po most possible thing that you can have would be dot co dot uk which is uh, one two three four five characters okay so we actually need to put a dot in here don't forget because that dot is available okay uh, and then we don't want to do one or more because again you can't do that so we need to restrict it so instead of using a plus sign we'll use a different quantifier and we'll say at least two to at most five and then we'll close our quantifier then we have to say stop the input here so this ends our input which is a dollar sign that ends our input so you can see it's not matching right now because there's too much if I backslash it down code.uk works if I go back that works, com works. Okay. If I get less than two, it won't work because I told it between two and five. Okay. So C O M. So now you'll use JavaScript uh, dot test to actually test for it. I can pull that up here and show you that in order to use this, um, you set a variable equal to your regex with forward slashes around it. Okay. I know this is a different regex, and then you test that string dot test for whatever you're testing for, for, for whatever you're testing in, okay? And that's regex explained for emails.